This is Mr. Scans coming at you from my basement. Uh, we're going to do the snare drum part today from Afterburn. We're not going to do the entire part. We're just going to do selected measures from the first page uh, in this first video. One of the first things you want to do with each of the excerpts from this first page is to learn how to count them. Write in the counting, practice saying it. So, for instance, uh, the first two measures right in the counting. It should should sound like this once you have it written in and you're reading it. You're going to say one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four e and a one. I'll do it again. And I'm trying to accent the notes that you actually play as opposed to the rest where I'm trying to lay back on the counting so you can hear the difference between the notes and the rest. So again you have one and two and three four and one and two and three and four e and a one then the next step would be to count it and clap it so now you clap while you're counting one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four e and a one now right now we're under tempo and that's the way you should practice it under tempo so you get from the beginning to the end of the excerpt without botching it up. Then you want to try and push the tempo forward a little bit, doing the same thing, counting, and then counting and clapping. So you start off one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a one. Clapping it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a one. It gets a little bit harder to clap all those uh, 16th notes. Uh, so then you want to move it to playing. Same thing, counting and playing. Start under tempo. Right now I'm going to start my metronome at 86. Here's our eighth notes. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and three and one. I'll do it again. Match group this time. One and two and ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And then move it up to tempo. I'll do it a little bit faster without the metronome there. The tempo is actually 154. Anyway, uh, here it is up tempo. One, two, ready and one. So that would take you through the first two bars. The next place you want to focus are on bars. Uh, let's go with bars 16 and 17. So that's the one, two, three, fourth line of the music. Again, doing the same thing. Right in the counting. Then practice reading what you wrote at a slow tempo. And two and three and four e and a one and a two and three and four e and a one and and three four and so we'll do three bars sixteen seventeen and eighteen then practice reading it a little bit faster again accenting the notes that you actually play laying back on the ones that have rest on them so now you a little bit faster one and two and three and four and a one and a two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and then practice counting it and playing it slowly. Again, my metronome right now is at 86. One and two and three and four e and a one and a two and three and four e and a one and two and three and four and. One more time, slow tempo. Count yourself off. One, two, and ready and go. One and two. A little bit faster. I'm going to keep my metronome at 86 and I'll just play a faster tempo. So you have one, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. The next spot you want to practice on the first page, measure 30 and 31. So again, clapping slowly, right in the counting, clap it and count it slowly. 
there are accents in this. If uh, you need to leave the accents out, leave the accents out to, to get the rhythm learned, then try and put the accents in. The accent falls on the right hand and then it falls on the left hand. Uh, for those of you with weak left hands, it's going to be a little tricky at first. But anyway, counting and clapping slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a one. Gradually work that up to tempo. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Play it again. Eighty six. It's marked mezzo piano. One, two, and ready and go and. Faster. One, two, ready, go. The next place you want to look at, I uh, probably should have written in the measures here. Uh, I'm going to have to count. So 43, 44. Be the next two bars you want to look at. It's marked piano. Again, right in the counting. Practice just counting it slowly, where you have one and two and three and four e and a one and a two and three and four e and a one. A little bit faster. One, two, ready, count. One and two and three and four e and a one and a two and three and four e and a one. You really need to get to where you can count it just like that. If you can count it just like that, again, laying back where the rest are, then move, clap, count. Here it is, slowly. One and two and three and four e and a one and a two and three and four e and a one. Then once you get comfortable there, take it with the sticks and count. Again, it's marked piano. We'll do it at 86. One, two, ready, go. I'll do it one more time at 86. One, two, and ready, and go. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Move it up faster. So you'll have one, two, ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Again. One, two, three, go. Anytime you have eighth notes that start off the beat, make sure you start them with your left hand. It'll fall out much nicer. Then the next place we need to look at, let's go with um, 50, 51, 52. So here it is. We'll start with where it's marked fortissimo, the two F's. Again, we'll count it slowly. One and two and three. Four and one and two and three and four e and a one and a two and three e and a four and. I'll say it again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four e and a one and a two and three. Oops. Let me do that one again. One and two and three. Four and one and two and three and four e and a one and a two and three e and a four and then move to playing it and counting it slowly with eighty six on the metronome. One, two and ready and go and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four e and a one and a two and three and a four and I'll play it one more time before I speed it up. Three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and, 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 and two and three and four and up to tempo. One, two, ready, go. Let me do that again and count it. One, two, ready, go. So that takes care of most of the, 
the difficult parts on page one. The next video we will move on to page two.